Tomo misses. The large soda you see here was just a day away from becoming illegal in New York City. But not the big gulp at the 7-Eleven. Confused? So was Manhattan Supreme Court Justice Milton Tingling. In a 37-page ruling, Tingling called Mayor Michael Bloomberg's soda ban arbitrary with too many loopholes. Tingling said the rule couldn't be implemented without the approval of New York City Council. Bloomberg insists the Board of Health has the power to enforce the ban. He vowed to appeal. Being the first to do something is never easy. When we began this process, we knew we would face lawsuits. Anytime you adopt a groundbreaking policy, special interests will sue. Yes, Mayor Bloomberg, special interest groups like to sue. That is America. But what happened to the America where people had the freedom to make their own choices? Starbucks said it would defy the ban because the rules were too confusing. If a beverage contains more than 50% milk, the ban doesn't apply. With the court ruling, common sense and personal freedom prevail for now. Hey, Mayor! We'll drink to that. An earthquake with a magnitude of 7.8 rocked Iran and Pakistan on Tuesday. Plates can converge when one slips under another. They can also collide and form mountains. When plates diverge, they pull apart and magma can rise. When plates lock, energy builds up between them. When they finally give, the energy is released as an earthquake. There are three kinds of waves emitted in an earthquake. First, P waves, or primary waves, are felt as a jolt. Then come S waves, or secondary waves. Surface waves then radiate from the epicenter. Love waves, which are faster than Rayleigh waves, cause the ground to lash from side to side. Rayleigh waves cause big rolling up and down movements. Yesterday's earthquake was Iran's second big tembler in a week. A 6.3 magnitude quake on April the 9th killed 37 and injured more than 850. As a measles epidemic with nearly 900 confirmed cases sweeps through Wales, the post-mortem of a 25-year-old Swansea man is expected to find that the virus was responsible for his death. Measles is a highly contagious respiratory disease caused by a virus spread through contact with an infected person, or more commonly, via droplet transmission. In 8 to 15 days, infected patients show cold and flu symptoms, followed by a rash which begins on the head and spreads to the extremities. Inside the mouth, white lesions called coplic spots appear, but fade as the rash develops. Most people recover, but in about 1 in 15 cases, complications can arise. These include infections of the ear, bronchitis in the respiratory tract, pneumonia in the lungs, and encephalitis or inflammation of the brain. Doctors warn that up to 2 million unvaccinated children in the UK could be at risk and are urging parents to safeguard their children with the measles, mumps and rubella vaccines. A New Hampshire man is in hot water after he took the name of a charity store a bit too literally. Ruben Pavon said he saw the name of Finders Keepers in Derry and presumed that the merchandise was anybody's to take away. Pavon said he took a DVD player home one day and a couple of weeks later the stuff was still laying around outside the store, so he decided to go back for more. This time he returned with his son in tow to help him grab a barbecue grill. Little did he know, however, that his actions were being recorded by the store's surveillance camera. When cops eventually tracked him down, Pavon appeared shocked, later telling reporters he thought they probably just put stuff out there for people to take. Pavan has now returned the items and continues to protest his innocence. An excuse storeholder Laura Barker just isn't buying. Heart failure patients in the UK have enrolled for a trial of a new genetically modified virus that could help their failing hearts. Heart failure is a disabling condition that occurs when the heart becomes too weak to effectively pump blood around the body, making it difficult for sufferers to walk long distances or climb stairs. Heart disease patients have lower levels of circa 2A protein. The genetically modified virus stimulates production of the protein. 
The virus is pumped into the heart of the patient via a tube inserted into the leg and pushed up through the blood vessels. The new technique could help more than 750,000 people in the UK who suffer from heart disease. The British Heart Foundation said the idea has great potential, but needs to be proven in clinical trials. A wind-driven wildfire raging along the California coast led to the evacuation of hundreds of homes and a university campus on Thursday. Tall plants within 10 feet of the house should be removed as they can provide fuel for flames. Vehicles need to be removed from garages. Wood and other flammable material should also be removed from the house. Windows should be locked as embers can enter spreading fire to the inside of the house. Lights should be turned on to indicate that someone is home. The outbreak of fires marked the start of wildfire season in California. A global cybercrime ring stole $45 million from thousands of ATMs in two precise operations involving people in 27 countries. In the first operation, an unnamed Indian credit card processing company handling Visa and MasterCard prepaid debit cards was infiltrated by hackers. Armed with the details of MasterCard debit cards issued by the Bank of Muscat in Oman and the United Arab Emirates, Rak Bank, the hackers increased the available balance and withdrawal limits of the cards. Using only five different account numbers, the hackers distributed the information to people in 20 countries, who proceeded to encode the information on magnetic stripe cards. Cashing crews then made some 4,500 withdrawals around the world, netting $5 million. Computer experts monitored the financial transactions of the street crews to ensure they weren't shortchanged on their cut. U.S. federal prosecutors charged eight men with money laundering and conspiracy to commit access device fraud. A flying car could be coming to a garage near you, thanks to Terrafugia engineers. The TFX flying car is slated to be a vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. Propellers help the car to take off and gain speed, much like the propellers of a helicopter. The car, which can seat four passengers, uses autopilot once in the air. The wings fold into the car so it can be driven on roads and parked in normal garages. The car has received approval for civilian use from the US Civil Aviation Authority. The United Nations says eating insects is beneficial to your health and could help worldwide in the fight against hunger and pollution. Two billion people around the world eat insects regularly, mostly in Asia, Africa and Latin America. The most consumed insects include beetles, caterpillars, bees, wasps and ants. Insects on average convert two kilograms of feed into one kilogram of edible meat whereas cattle require 8 kilograms of feed to produce 1 kilogram of meat. 100 grams of caterpillar contain 35.5 milligrams of iron, compared with only 3.5 milligrams in minced beef. Edible insects are a moneymaker too. Four large water bottles of grasshoppers can sell for up to 20 US dollars. Some restaurants are already serving insects, as they provide high-quality protein and nutrients and have environmental benefits. Superstar actress Angelina Jolie has undergone a double mastectomy to reduce her risk of contracting breast cancer. More women die of breast cancer than any other form of cancer. Breast cancer can be caused by many factors, one of which is carrying defective genes. Tests can determine if a woman has the defective genes BRCA1, BRCA2, TP53 or PTEN genes. Cancer in confined areas can be removed by a lumpectomy, or a single mastectomy may be necessary if the cancer has spread, or a double mastectomy in order to prevent cancer in at-risk patients. Angelina Jolie's mother died of cancer, making her twice as likely as the general population to contract the disease. Bangladesh has evacuated hundreds of thousands of people to higher ground, ahead of tropical cyclone Mahasan. Bangladesh's low elevation puts large areas of the country at risk of flooding in the event of a storm surge. Low pressure under the storm carries the surge along until it makes landfall. Around 14% of Bangladesh's population lives on land under 5 meters in elevation. The Great Bola Cyclone in 1970 had a 10 meter storm surge. Land in the Ganges Delta is fertilized by annual flooding. 
Bangladesh suffers 53% of the world's cyclone fatalities, even though only 1% of cyclones strike there. A Minnesota truck driver became a hero after saving a college student who crashed into a pond. Nate Anderson was on his way to class when he fell asleep at the wheel. Scott Rosenberg had just finished the delivery when he saw the wreck. He pulled over to help, only to find two more Good Samaritans. They tried to get the door open with a crowbar, but couldn't. Rosenberg ran back into his truck, moved it into position, then aligned the boom. He gave chains to the men to attach to the truck, then pulled it out. Anderson wasn't moving at first. Just right at that time, my heart just sank. But then he started coughing and groaning. Help arrived, and Anderson was cut out of the smashed car. He suffered broken vertebrae and severed tendons in his hand, but survived. Rosenberg remains modest about his role in the rescue. I did what most people would do to stop and help if they had the ability to. Scientists have released a study showing the effects of Arctic Ocean acidification. Increased levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere are being absorbed by the world's oceans, especially by colder Arctic waters. Increased Arctic Ocean acidification adversely impacts the ability of some sea creatures to grow and calcify shells, and for fish larvae to survive. Arctic Ocean acidity is currently 30% higher than at the start of the Industrial Revolution. Scientists say the evidence adds to an already turbulent survival environment for Arctic species.